In the midst of the brown and green hills in Cortland County, a splash of white sticks out, a color that excites skiers. I've been waiting for it all summer, since the last day of ski season. Once that balmy warmth of summer is over, and it, you can't go out and, you know, shirtless anyway, you're not going to get a suntan then let it freeze. A lot of the skiers out here today are diehards, meaning they've been waiting since the ski season ended last year to get back on the slopes today. And after last season's tough winter, where it was so up and down with temperatures, they're really pleased that they can get out this year a little bit earlier. And it almost wasn't even worth it to even go last year. Um, I didn't buy a season pass the last two years because it wasn't really that much of a snow. Last season's warm temperatures played a role in Greek Peak filing for bankruptcy a few months ago. And after months of uncertainty, the resort wanted to send a message of reassurance to local skiers. There was a lot of doubt, um, and the fact that we're open and we're here, and today's day one gives the skiers and riders some assurance that, that we're here and we're going to continue operation. Greek Peak says it was worth spending the money to make snow leading up to opening day because they believe they're rebuilding their customers' confidence by opening early. So we went for it. We know this time of year it's always difficult because you're early in December. You're bound to get the ups and downs, but uh, we wanted to get started to reassure our customers that we're here and we're going to be open. Greek Peak and its customers share one hope for this season snow and lots of it. We hope it's going to be a nice long season and eagerly await a lot more uh, trails to open up. We're not hoping for snow, we're getting snow. Reporting from Cortland County, I'm Tom Eschen.